Good morning, gang. Happy Tuesday. So, how's the uh, gas budget in your house? Insane, huh? <clears throat> well, Joe has a potential solution for us. Joe is thinking about a gas tax holiday that they're going to suspend the federal gas tax. Okay? I'm going to give you this. Remember 2008 when uh, last time gas was maxed out at 411 on a national average? Okay? Under good old Barry and Joe's uh, administration? Well... Back then, Barry said suspending the gas tax would be insane. Okay. Joe thinks it's a good idea. Now, I'm going to give you this. Here's a little fact on you. On June 1st, the average price of gas across the country was $4.67. Today, first day of summer, June 21st, 20 days later, the average price of gas is $4.97. 30% or 30 cent increase. You know what the federal gas tax is? 18 cents. So literally what Joe is doing is this this great solution to help the American population is to let us pay what gas prices were two weeks ago. Not even the beginning of the month. Two weeks ago. Okay. I'm going to show you something here real quick. Take a look at this map. This is today from AAA. You know, if you look in the bubble on the left-hand side, price as of 621.22. So this is as of today. Take a look at the state's that have the lowest gas prices, take a look at the states that have the highest gas prices. With these, with, with a couple of exceptions, okay, I'll give you Montana and Alaska, all right? And for both of those, it's a little bit, I mean, obviously sparsely populated and a little bit more difficult to get gasoline delivered to those places because they are so sparsely populated. Okay. But if you look at this, the highest prices in the country are on the West Coast and Illinois. Now, take out Idaho and Utah and the rest of the states over there voted for this clown. Then look at where the second highest prices are. The Northeast. Gee, who would those people vote for? Take a look at where the lowest prices are. The South, Southeast, okay? Those states were called at one minute after polls closed, and it wasn't in Joe's favor. This is just something to illustrate how idiotic this administration is, okay? And I will tell you this. They have no interest whatsoever in helping the public, okay? And, you know, you know the comments, you know, Joe keeps on saying, well, everybody should buy an electric car and we should use this to our advantage to go to green energy, you know, vehicles sooner and everything because you know everybody's got a hundred thousand dollars to go spend on a car that i could fit in okay that's what it cost me please understand this this is all lip service even if joe drops the federal gas tax for a couple of weeks who cares okay joe's policies right now are doing exactly what joe's policies were meant to do fleece the american public and pad the coffers to push through some of this stupid crap that he's got ideas going on, all right? I'll give you this as an example, all right? Inflation. What are we running? 
officially about 9%, realistically about 20 okay? So let's take Tennessee, for example. Our sales tax here is just under 10%. It's like nine and a quarter or something like that. But just to make the math easy, let's use 10%, okay? So I go to Walmart, and I want to buy, I don't know, pick it, light bulbs and a pair of shoes and some mason jars or whatever. And my bill is 100 bucks. I pay $10 in sales tax. Granted, that goes to the state. All right. This year, if I go buy those light bulbs, those shoes, those mason jars, or whatever, and it cost me $200, bought the exact same stuff, okay? It's an extra 100 bucks out of my pocket for the product. But now my taxes are 20 bucks. Same product. And again, the government did nothing, okay? They didn't make the mason jars. They didn't deliver the shoes. They aren't paying the cashier, whatever it would be, okay? But their profit margin just doubled. They're going to bitch at oil companies for something oil companies have no control over, okay, over the price of oil. Saying, oh, you're making too much profit. Really, Joe? Who's making too much profit here? Your profits, your government profits in 18 months have doubled. My paycheck hasn't. My bills have, that's for sure. And your income to go waste money on... $40 $40 billion to Ukraine, sending more money to the Kennedy Center, an infrastructure bill that paid, did nothing for infrastructure, just raised taxes, you know, $1.9 trillion or whatever it is. And, you know, funny, but I don't see the roads getting any better anywhere or the airports or the bridges or anything. This is what it is, guys. Don't let this fool you when, you know, they're, the media and whatever... It's going to make, oh, Joe cares about the people so much. He's going to dip into his pocket, the federal government's wallet. And he's going to, he's going to, out of the goodness of his heart, he's going to, to suspend the federal taxes on gasoline. So you can go back to paying what you were paying two weeks ago. For me, that was the last time I put gas in the car. Okay. This is this is the lies that we are told, the spin that is out there. You know, I've told you many times before, the taxes on gasoline are more than the profit that the oil company makes. Yet, according to Joe, the oil companies are the bad guys. Okay. You know, here's a question. If we have 18 cents a gallon tax on gasoline. Think of the millions of ga- gallons of gasoline that are used in the United States daily. Where in the hell is all that money going? Somebody please explain that one to me. Pimble out.